What's up guys and welcome back to Danny Plays. One second. Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze. Um Welcome back to another Inktober video. Today's topic was stuck. And you know, since it is Halloween season, I thought the only appropriate thing to do for stuck is someone stuck in a spider web. Now if you're afraid of spiders, don't worry. This drawing is simplistic and the spider doesn't the spider isn't scary. Don't 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 worry. It kind of just looks like Well, it looks like a spider, but just one of the fake ones that you would buy for Halloween decoration. Anyway, I thought the idea for this was I thought I'd have someone stuck in the web. And originally I was just gonna do a normal person, but I'll explain why I did someone a little different a little later but as you can see right now i'm just making the web and i guess i never finished explaining the idea someone's stuck in a web and a big spider on the opposite side of the web crawling towards them that that's kind of the idea that i'm going for here but yeah anyway design the web and i brought up a reference picture for the spider but it didn't really ha help because I don't know how people make highly detailed spiders. I've seen some good, creepy spiders that people have drawn. I, d I don't know how people do it. Because they're so simple. They're just a circle. And then a slightly bigger deformed circle. And then eight legs. And I feel like it's the legs that you really gotta focus on. Because the body is so simple. And I, I just, I don't, I don't know what they do to make them look good, so I, uh, so I didn't really end up using the reference picture because, well, they're, they're really simple. Um, I probably could have found a better angle if I'd actually looked up, like, an image of someone stuck in a web, but, eh, whatever. So I start messing with the legs. And I do some legs closer to the head, so almost make it look like it has six legs for walking and then two for, like, grabbing stuff, I guess. I don't know. And I, ga I gave it this little design. And I probably should have done a little bit more with the shadows, because I gave it a little bit of shadows on its back, but that was all I did in terms of shadows. I didn't add shadows to anything else, so I don't even know why I added that, but I should I should have done more. Um... Inktober has been interesting because it has produced two of my probably top three favorite drawings I've ever done, but has also produced a few like this where I'm just kind of like, meh, meh, it's okay, but it could be better. And I do end up thinking that it looks good, but I feel like if I'd spent longer, it could have looked better, but I just, I, I don't know. How much better it could have got because I, need, I think I need to work on spiders oh dang it I forgot to give the spider fur I was gonna give the spider fur I didn't end up doing that well okay well the person I end up drawing and I'm gonna tell you this now because I'm drawing them is I end up drawing the same or at least a very similar night to the one that we see being crushed by the Cyclops and the pressure video and I do this because well I had to draw a person and I feel like since this spider is kind of a giant spider which fits into like a fantasy setting it should be a fantasy person but the real reason I did the same ish night although I think it does have a different armor design because I didn't remember I mean I could have just looked at it but I didn't but I tried to do the same armor off of memory but I thought it would be kind of funny to be like, this guy is always get, getting himself s s into these sticky situations where he's just either, he's be he's always being attacked by something and he's always stuck somewhere. And <laughs> like, somehow he always gets away. So I guess I'm saying he got away from this somehow, but he he's just always, I thought it would be funny to have this character that's just kind of always 
in the way of some trouble. I once again thought about doing that power suit thing from day two. Um, but I felt like since how strong I made them out to be, I feel like they would have been able to get out of the web. So I didn't decide to do that. And the spider wouldn't have really had any threat of being, being able to fight through some super advanced sci-fi. And it just didn't really fit. So even though I don't know why I do this, but I try to keep my drawings just a little bit connected, like as if they're all in one world. Except for the Sour Patch one, and maybe a few others. But the rest kind of fit together. Anyway, that's the end of this video, guys. If you liked it, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.